Hi, I'm Kirby with Augustine eBikes, and thanks for watching our YouTube channel. I hope the videos we put together every week for you are entertaining, educational. I hope you learn something from them because we enjoy making them just for you guys. And one of the things we get a lot of is how to install a rear hub kit. It's one of those kind of frustrating things that people think it's more complicated than it is. So what I thought I'd do is just break it down, make it really simple, and do a video on installing a rear hub kit. Some pretty straightforward bicycle stuff and some pretty straightforward electric bike stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, if you do, subscribe below. And again, thanks so much for watching our videos. Today I'll be unboxing and installing the very powerful 1200 watt rear hub motor. First, I want to make sure that all the parts are here. The SW900 LCD computer, the controller, throttle, and pedal assist. And of course, the motor and the wheel. In this case, this is a rear 29er wheel, identical in size to the 700C wheels found on many road bikes. The first thing I want to do is remove the tire and inner tube from the bike's existing wheel for use with the 1200 watt wheel. Now I'm going to mount the tire on the motorized wheel and install the inner tube. It's very important, make sure to partially inflate the inner tube prior to install to ensure a tight fit and prevent pinching when fitting the tire into the rim. Really important, I've blown more than a few inner tubes doing this. Once I've attached the tire, I want to make sure to secure the disc brake to the motor. When tightening the brake screws, do so in a slow increment and move to the screw directly opposite to the screw you just tightened to ensure an even fit. Once the brake is secure, it's time to place the wheel in the frame, making sure that the wheel is true and the brake fits evenly in the brake caliper. These are very fine kind of movements, but it, you can do it without, without much effort. It's very important that you have one washer on the inside. It's a normal washer on the inside of the frame, the lock washer and the mounting nut on the outside of the frame. If you get that wrong, it will not work. Once I have firmly tightened the nut by hand, get it as tight as you can with your hand. I want to test the wheel is spinning freely and true and that the movement of the chain on the cassette is aligned. I don't want any kind of strange movement there because I need, I need to ensure that there's good shifting. Once I've done that, I firmly tighten both nuts with a wrench. Not too tight, you don't want to break the frame, but tight enough because these are powerful motors and you want to make sure they're really lodged on there. And then I'm ready to install the controller and the battery. Thanks for watching our video and I hope you watch the upcoming video on installing the controller and the battery for this bike. Meanwhile, you can watch our video on programming the SW900 LCD onboard computer and many other videos that we've provided to you over the last years.